Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Today's devotional is titled, Holiness is the Answer. It was written by Yoandre Jimenez and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. It's presented to you by your sister Lisa Hernandez. This is taken from the book Mesa de Fe. Our biblical base today comes from John chapter 17, verse 17. So says the word of God, Sanctify them in truth. Your word is truth. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. During the hardest months of the pandemic, humanity placed its hope on a vaccine that would restore the health of the sick. The perfect remedy, in a few words, is one that relieves pain quickly without side effects or contraindications. It is true that over the years, science has managed to find some of these answers, but this morning I want to share with you the formula for a perfect remedy for the disease of spiritual fallen man. For the disease, even within the walls of the Church of the Lord, sanctify them in truth, your word is truth. And it is that, beyond any treatment, acknowledging the Lord and starting the path in search of the holiness of God through his word is all that we need. The holiness of a believer is directly related to the time he or she spends in front of the Word of God. So if you are looking for a perfect remedy, holiness is the answer. Amen. We have been called to live a life of holiness. That means living a life that is sanctified, living a life that Jesus has redeemed and restored and transformed. We can live a life of holiness, but we have to make small steps. We have to make the small step of turning away from temptation, for giving up certain things that distract us or that get in the way of our spiritual growth. We can live in holiness by looking to Jesus, looking to him for our answers. We can live in holiness by focusing on the Lord not letting things distract us, not letting things get in the way, saying no to sin, saying yes to Jesus, we can live in holiness. Holiness is the answer. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.